Okay, I've been beating on this thing for about maybe about a half hour. And I have managed to break off a whole bunch of these all the way around. Actually, they go on about like that. But that's actually okay because that shows me what's inside. And what is inside is a whole bunch of rust and grunge. So I'm going to keep wailing on it. Got it. Got it reasonably well loose here. But uh, loose is not off, it's just loose. So see what happens here. We'll give you a front row seat. Let the hilarity ensue. just rusted on there. I think there's one little piece holding it and when that pops off this whole thing comes flying off and probably hits the motorcycle. Probably a lot easier way of doing this too, but I don't know what it is. So we learn as we go. are really heavy at least on this thing the one side weighs much more than the other side I can see it here just it's totally rusted on here I'll show you right uh, right here it's free up here it moves no problem. Down here, right about there, it's just rusted solid. So, I'll keep beating on it. It's off. Actually, you can see here where uh, it was good and tight on there. I don't know if you can see that. That's where uh, the shoe had it, tight as anything. Oh, that's off. Wow. Heavy pig. So now I'll just pull the rest of this off, which uh, won't take too long. And then I don't know what to do next. I've never done this before. i got to figure that out. Okay, I've been working on this for a long time. I got the brake drum off. I'll show you where I'm at right now. I was trying to pull off the nuts that go on here. In order to do that, you have to put a socket through here, a three-quarter inch socket, and uh, it was stuck. It wasn't seized. It was just kind of stuck. So I went and I put a piece of a... Uh, just a rod through here, a long one, and um, twisted. When I twisted, everything moved, and that side doesn't make any sounds. This side, right about there, makes all kinds of really nice rusty crunching sounds. So, I uh, worked it back and forth for a while, and eventually got it to turn. Uh, yeah, you have to twist with the bar, but it will turn. And so I was rotating this around. I got each of these off, pulled this plate out as far as it would go, and shocking, the axle does not come out. 
So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might wrap a chain around it and chain it up to the back of my truck and chain it to another truck and drive away. Or I might uh, take it to a differential shop and say fix this. Or I might go inside and have some supper. Or I really don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually work to get the other side off. And if that one comes out, uh, I'll probably just post this on the Maverick forum. <laughs> you guys are a source of uh, great information, so thanks for that.